As usual, you were not expecting me. I'm sure you can recognize who I am, but if you don't, let me introduce myself. It is I who worshiped God for thousands of years. I was the greatest of all slaves. My beauty lifted the hearts of the crowds. My light outshined the stars. And I was determined to ascend above the clouds to the high sacredness of God. And it happened. My wish was granted. It was a dream come true. I was rewarded by my creator to be amongst the finest angels, the most loved. I was adoring all my eminence until your father, Adam, was created. I couldn't believe that I, the greatest of all, had to prostrate to an insignificant human made from clay. Difficult it was. I refused. I said no to the Almighty. I, I worshipped God for thousands of years. For how long had Adam served him? Why was Adam given the whole earth to rule? Clearly, I deserved it all, without a doubt. I am the one to rule and command the Since earth. Since the day of my refusal to kneel, I turned into the worst creature, became the enemy of God and his faithful servants. God promised me to enter hell on the day of judgment and to be held there for eternity. All this has happened because of you. I hate and envy you the same way I envied your father. Since you were born, I have been sinfully harming your life. I will not enter hell alone. I want you to share the pain with me and the curse that will descend upon me. I want to see you burn, cry, and scream as I will. Do you wish to know how I will achieve this? I will uncover the secrets behind my deceptions. The cunning tricks, the manipulation of strategies, and use it all. misconception you might have. Sadly, I have no power to force you to sin. Only by influencing your free will can I drive mankind to disobey. My grand agenda aims to strip the world from religious beliefs. My strategy to mislead you is very simple. I first try to drag you to infidelity and associating partners with God, which is the greatest sin. If you resist and don't get tricked, I like this one. I then move to plan B, which is to call you to major sins, like abandoning your prayers, adultery, causing harm to your fellow man, drinking alcohol. If you were a true believer and kept steadfast, I don't get discouraged. I call you towards minor sins. If you ignore me, I then occupy your days with permissible matters that are not sins or good deeds like overeating, pursuing worldly affairs. All these will prevent you from getting rewards. The way I do all this is by gradually entering your heart through your weaknesses. Through what you love most, I attract you step by step. By beautifying this world in your eyes, I make it magical. Hard to resist, tough to reject. Wealth, power, fame, and women become the center of all thoughts, the core that the whole world orbits around. I hypnotize you to run from one passion to another, committing evil endlessly. The more you people sin, the more I occupy your souls. And when you discover the truth, 
the truth that you became my slaves, you would be dead. If all these fail, I begin to plant fear and sadness in your heart. Poverty will become scary so that you lie and cheat. I make you fear the oppressor so that you don't stand up for the oppressed. I make you fear, make you fear everything but God, except God. Once you remain undefeated, then it is time for my most powerful trick. I use my elite slaves, those who dedicate their lives to me and my agenda. I command them to manipulate your life, to harm you, prosecute you, and to distort your reputation. They can approach you from every side. With this scheme, I can diminish your willpower and strength to resist. I can disable you from moving forward towards God. In this way to God, don't think you can overthrow me. I will show you what no one has ever seen from me. I will whisper and invite day and night. I will enter your soul through what you love most to make your evil self meaner, greedier, needier. I will feed your mind with evil and daunting thoughts to diminish your determination. It is I who will be victorious. It is I who will last.